Well, joining us now is Conservative backbencher Raymond Chishti, who, of course, launched a leadership bid in the summer, wasn't able to get uh, fellow MPs uh, to back him, but he's very kindly joined us uh, here outside Westminster. Thank you so much, Mr Chishti, for, for joining us. Um, to what extent do you despair of the state of your party at the moment? I think what we have to look at is the great, our great country and people around the world are looking at the United Kingdom and they're looking at the Conservative Party to say, how do we now move forward to deliver for our great country with regards to the biggest challenges facing our country? And I would say this, as somebody who came at the age of six with absolutely nothing, our great country is a land of opportunity for everyone. It's the best country in the world, but it needs strong, decisive governance and leadership to deal with the one of the biggest issues that our country faces, and that's the economy, which impacts on everything, on everybody's uh, lives, whether it's on jobs, whether it's regard to housing, whether it's the cost of living. We now need to come together and deliver for the country with the right leadership. How can you be sure, though, that your party has the talents within it after hearing Sir Charles Walker, one of your fellow MPs, saying that he was sick of talentless people taking these top jobs? at a time when people around the country are facing some desperate, desperate choices and nothing can move forward because of the disarray of the Conservative Party. I think what I would say on that, our great country and our amazing party has terrific talent across the board. And I think the point which Charles Walker was making, he was saying with regards to individuals who get appointed to government and ministers. And my point on that is what I said back in July, if I may finish on that, was that our government and our system of government we need a merits-based system of government. We need the best people for the job, not who bats who. And I think with that, the decisive leadership on the biggest issue for me is Rishi Sunak on the economy and his vision for a merits-based system, best people for the job across government and looking at all the talent within the Conservative Party. Why would people pick Rishi Sunak this time when he lost to Liz Truss in the last, the last time he had a go at this? Well, I think the question people would ask is who is the best person with the right skills to deliver on the biggest issue. And the biggest issue is the economy. And on the economy, who has the experience of dealing with the economy during the pandemic? And I know as a constituency member of parliament, when people's backs were against the wall, they needed support. People were you know, relying on their monthly salaries to get by. He delivered on the economy with businesses and individuals, and he has the skills to deliver on the economy, which affects everything across the board. But some people are saying that it wasn't proper conservative politics because we were carrying the biggest tax burden in 70 years because of his policies. No, I think what you have to look at is the biggest challenge our country had. And nobody, uh, you know, preempted that we would have the pandemic. It happened around the world. We needed governments to step up. We needed individuals to step up. He, as a chancellor, at that difficult time with the furlough scheme, support for businesses, individuals, he had the skills as an economist and in finance to deliver. And for me, now, as I look around the country and as I look at my constituents and I was with them on Saturday and I asked the question, you know, who do you think can deliver with regards to the economy, whether it's cost of living, whether it's their, you know, the interest rates, whether it's with regards to energy prices. And they say to me, the person who has the skills is Rishi Sunak. And the second part for me is I need a prime minister and I'll fight for that prime minister who can promise me what I've campaigned for for 12 years in parliament, a merits based system of government, the best people for the job at every level, cabinet, ministers of state, under secretaries of state, not who backs who. And there is amazing talent within the Conservative Party to take our great country forward. Just very quickly, Boris Johnson, how retrograde a step would it be to have him back? I think Boris Johnson, as a prime minister, you know, I have immense respect for him, but nobody knows if he's standing, if he's not standing. But I think that's a matter for Boris Johnson. Raymond Chishti, MP, thank you for joining Pleasure. us here this afternoon. Thank you very much.